we will be breaking to group prayer this morning, just after the start of the He has been here uh, for quite a bit of time. He has connected and there are no issues this time. Pastor Goethe, I wish to surrender this moment to you. May you please bless the saints. We are glad that you are here and may the Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, saints of God. It's a great pleasure and privilege and blessing to the worship experience. We are continuing our sermon series, which is dubbed or tagged Grace Galore, Grace in Profusion, Grace in Abundance. And in our study, we are focusing on uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10. And in this amazing passage of scripture, we learn these amazing truths about the grace of God. We learn that we are saved by grace. And we are saved through faith. We are saved as a gift. We are saved not of works. We are saved for God. And we are saved. Our focus is on Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. And as you flip the pages of your Bibles to this profound passage of scripture, I wish to affirm that I believe in the sufficiency of the Bible. I believe in the supremacy of the Bible, and I believe the summation of the Bible. Let us read Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. The Bible says, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Our study today, which is particularly focused on the expression, it is the gift of God, is titled The Provision of God's Saving Gift. The Provision of God's Saving Gift. Our focus today is on it is the gift of God. Let's ask the Lord to lead us as study. Eternal Father, speak to our hearts the wonderful word of life. And as it has pleased you to use a frail, filthy, and feeble vessel as myself. I do not ask for mighty words of human wisdom to move the audience. All I ask now, O Lord, is that humanity will diminish and that divinity will dominate as you speak to us pointedly, powerfully, and personally in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Our study today is titled The Provision of God's Saving Gift. The Provision of God's Saving Gift. Let's remind ourselves of what we studied on yesterday, particularly with respect to the preposition, okay, or rather the pronouns that and eight. That and eight. The Bible says, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. Eight is the gift of God. So we endeavored on yesterday to ascertain the antecedent of uh, those pronouns. Uh, do the pronouns that and eight refer to grace or to faith? In our study on yesterday, we concluded to looking at two evidences. Uh, first, the immediate context, and second, the grammatical context or the grammatical gender, we concluded that that or uh, those, prep, uh, those uh, pronouns uh, simply are referring to the entire previous, you know, uh, phrase or, you know, clause, for by grace you have been saved 
So salvation in its entirety, the entire clause, dealing with salvation, speaking of grace and faith, the entire clause is what is in focus. Therefore, salvation in its entirety is the gift of God, the gift of God. So with this context, let's now consider the provision vision of God's saving gift. The Bible says it is the gift of God. It is the gift of God. Friends, the gift of God is salvation. Salvation is the gift of God. Salvation inclusive of God, you know, grace and inclusive of faith in God, which is inspired by God, is the gift of God. Now, let's particularly look at that word gift, which is used in this text. You see, there are two words most commonly used, you know, uh, for gift in the Bible, especially as it relates to salvation in the New Testament. The first word is charisma. And this simply means a gift of grace or gracious gift. Uh, it is that word that is used to define salvation in Romans chapter 5, verses 15 to 16. And in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the word is also employed. And when Paul says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift, the charisma of God is eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. The second word used is doria, meaning a free gift. gift. And it is this gift that Jesus, you know, speaks of when he tells the woman at the well, he will give her water, okay? Free gift, spoken of in Romans chapter five, verse 15 unspeakable or indescribable gift in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. You see, friends, the adverb form uh, of this word, Dorian, which is translated freely, is given in Matthew chapter 10, verse number 8, and other passages in the New Testament. Particularly in Romans chapter 3, verse 24, immediately following God's pronouncement of our guilt, we find him use the word durian. He says, being justified, durian, or freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Salvation is the gift. Given. And today, in the rest of our study, we will share with you three reasons why salvation is free. Three reasons why salvation is a gift of God. Three reasons to believe the free gift of God, which is salvation as it is in Christ Jesus. The first reason is this. Salvation is a free gift of God because the Savior who saves us is God's gift for our justification. The Savior who saves us is God's gift for our justification. Jesus is the gift of God, the free gift of God. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, John chapter 3, verse 16. So Jesus is God's gift. Now, he is particularly God's gift for our justification. See what the Bible says in Romans chapter 5, verse 9. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Jesus is God's gift for our justification. And therefore, the gift of the Savior is the expense of our salvation. 
the gift of the Savior is the expense of our salvation. My dear friend, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. The Savior, Jesus Christ, is the expense of our salvation. The second reason why salvation is a free gift of God is this, that the Spirit is God's gift for our sanctification. The Spirit is God's gift for our sanctification. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says in Luke eleven thirteen that God will give his Holy Spirit to anyone who asks will give the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the gift of God to us, and it is the gift of God for our sanctification. Uh, brothers and sisters, the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2, elect according to the full knowledge of God the Father in sanctification of the Spirit. Sanctification of the Spirit. The Bible says also in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, it says, But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is God's gift for our sanctification. And in that light, the gift of the Spirit is the earnest of our salvation. The gift of the Spirit is the earnest of our salvation. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22, who had also sealed us and given the earnest of the Spirit. Oh, friend, Jesus is God's gift for our justification and the expense of our salvation. And the Holy Spirit is God's gift for our sanctification and the earnest of our salvation. Now, here is the final reason why we must believe that salvation is the free gift of God. Here is the reason. The sinner's response to God's gift is God's gift. Even the sinner's response to God's gift is God's gift. Oh, friends, what does this mean? This simply means that our response, the response of the sinner to the gift of salvation is called faith. Even faith, our response to God's love is the gift of God. Repentance is another response, and repentance is the gift of God. Let me show this to you in Scripture. In Acts chapter 11, verse 18, the Bible says, when they heard these things, they became silent, and they glorified God, saying, then God has also granted to the Gentiles repentance to life. Can you imagine this? God granted to the Gentiles, to unbelievers, to these you know, ungodly, worldly people, God granted repentance to life. Repentance then is a gift from God. See what the Bible also says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 25. The Bible says in humility, correcting those who are in opposition if God perhaps will grant them repentance, the gift of repentance, so that they may know the truth. So repentance is a gift of God. The response of the sinner to the redemption of the Redeemer is the gift of God. Salvation is in its entirety the gift of God. Let's conclude this message with some amazing statements of Ellen White. Ellen White says to us in Selected Messages, Volume 1, page 344, Oh, that all may see that everything in obedience, 
penitence, that is repentance, in praise and thanksgiving must be placed upon the glowing fire of the righteousness of Christ. Ellen White also says this. She says, it is impossible for us of ourselves to escape to escape from the pit of sin in which we are sunken. His grace alone can quicken the lifeless faculties of the soul and attract it to God, to holiness. Ellen White also says, repentance, I like this one, repentance is beyond the reach of our own power to accomplish. It is obtained only from Christ who ascended up on high. Listen to what she says also, Selected Messages, Volume 1, page 393. Ellen White says, man is, in, is not capable of originating such a repentance as this and can experience it alone through Christ and can experience it alone through Christ. My dear friend, why is, you know, repentance the gift of God? Why is salvation entirely the gift of God? Friends, the Bible says in Ezekiel 36, verses 26 to 27, I will give you a new heart. This is the promise of the new covenant. I will give you a new heart, a converted heart, the new creation, and a new spirit. I will put within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. Salvation is the free gift of God. Why? Because the Savior who saves us is God's gift for our justification. He is the expense of our salvation. He paid the price. Jesus paid it all. All to him our own. Sin has left a crimson stain. He watches it whiter than snow. Salvation is a free gift of God because the spirit is God's gift for our sanctification. He is the earnest of our salvation. We are sealed by the Spirit unto the day of redemption. Salvation is a free gift of God because the sinner's response to the gift of God is the gift of God. Even repentance is God's gift. Father, thank you for the gift of salvation, for the gift of the Savior, for the gift of the Spirit, for the gift of the sinner's response to salvation. Thank you for grace galore in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen.